This week's episode of the Deck Chart Numbers Podcast brought to you by... Get your motor running. Head out on the highway. Looking for adventure. And whatever comes our way. Yeah, I gotta go make it happen. Don't know why I'm getting excited. I'm a cool guy and I drive an Audi. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me what I didn't expect to happen, Connor. What oh, about that, Artie? That I would grow gloves. <laughs> <laughs> but they have grown on you so well. Uh, shall I play the fucking intro, Mr. Bartlett? Nah, fuck it, that'll do us. <laughs> <laughs> I live my life a quarter minute at a time now, Connor. <laughs> You're all very welcome back to another episode of the Dexter and Jones podcast with Connor Keyes, who drives a Volkswagen, <laughs> and me, Mickey Bartlett, who drives a fucking Artie. Uh, TT. What about you? <laughs> What's the crack? Anybody else had a hundred mile an hour today? Find that we've got a spoiler that didn't know about. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, <coughs> a spoiler alert for Mickey was literally didn't know he had a spoiler. Ah, uh, yeah, didn't uh, know a lot of things, Connor. <laughs> didn't know it was like to smoke a cop. <laughs> I mean, uh, I rolled one up. Mm-hmm. Tell me I'm wearing the gloves. To be honest with you, tell me why you're wearing the gloves. Obviously, last week we told everyone I was getting an RDTT, mm-hmm. and then I got an RDTT. You did. I put a wee photo up on social media to be like here. You know, live mm-hmm. your dreams. Trying to inspire people. Yes. Be like me. Yes. Driving already. Uh-huh. Borks Burn Doctor, sir. Yeah. Work with Spock and Doctor and Slowden. <laughs> and loads of people started calling me gay <gasps> and saying that it was a woman's car. Fuck. So no. I've had to butch it up. And what's more butch than leather gloves and aviators? A leather jacket. Maybe it was it. That's too warm. Too warm. Aye. The heat. And the only leather jacket I have shorter than the washer. I meant to wash them. Turns <laughs> out it wasn't even leather, it was pleather. <laughs> Heard a bit of PVT jacket, but uh, uh, so uh, I mean, the, it's been well and truly christened now, has it? Yes, you've had a. I had another wagon, didn't know. No, uh, oh, right, okay, right. but no one else allowed in to christen it in that way. Right, okay, uh, nobody, nobody. I let no. James look through the window, <laughs> and I was like, "Don't lean in the door." <laughs> uh, my wee nephew was like, "Mike, I got a new car," and I was like, "Yeah." He was like, "Me driving?" I'm like, "Get the fuck out of my face, no!" <laughs> you insurance, bro? Keep them watsits to yourself, Ted. Yeah. They're not uh, doing my car. It's. I'll be honest with you, ladies and gentlemen, I've never been happier. Uh, I've nothing even to complain about. Usually I come on and have a rant. No, normally he's got a rant. He's, 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 a, he's a new man. It, it turns out material goods really do make you happy. It, it seems to be. People it say seems. money can't buy you happiness. I don't have any money anymore. <laughs> but I do have a car filled with diesel, so at least I'll get one tank out of it. <laughs> and then it'll sit there and grow weeds like any other car I've had. But for, for now... You might have to grow weed. It's annoying me that we're not it, moving. <laughs> yeah. That's, that's, <laughs> do when you get a new car, uh-huh. you're just like... Right. Fuck, like, I tried to drive to the toilet last night. <laughs> he said he didn't want to go to bed there. I, I sort of, it night. annoyed me having to go to sleep. Because all I wanted to do was oh, look out my window at it. <laughs> <laughs> Which I've been caught doing several times. I parked with mum and dad's I house. honestly, I'm not joking, I honestly don't think you would smile or laugh or, like, adore a child as much as oh, you have fuck a no. car. Absolutely not. <laughs> if, you, if you get a child up to 100 mile an hour, you go to jail. <laughs> Technically, it happens too if you get a car, but you have to get caught first, and you're not catching me at 100 miles an hour. So tell us, uh, t- give us the spec then. So it's a, it's a two liter, it's two liter turbo diesel. Oh gee, S line ultra. Oh, ultra too. Ah, it's got a wee S in the signal. <laughs> Bucket sets. You start at wee button like that there. There's no uh-huh. handbrake, so it just fucking it just goes. The uh, drive. Uh huh. It's when you're it starts to rain a wee bit, and you're all oh, put the wipers on. The car's all allow me, Mister Bartlett. I will do the wipers. <laughs> Gets a wee bit dark. The car's like no, please sit there, relax. I will do the lights. Do you know what I mean? Yes, I do. The only, thing it, doesn't do is, the only thing it doesn't do is open the door for you. <laughs> it's astounding. That's what James is for. Yeah, it's astounding. <laughs> I'm, like, it's, I, have, I have never... Like, I picked it up yesterday, so obviously I hadn't slept for a week yeah. thinking about it. I actually had a bad dream about it. Oh, no. The, on the Monday night before I picked it up. Right. I dreamt that it was way smaller than I thought it was. And that I, physically, the that I physically couldn't get into <laughs> Well done. <laughs> yeah. You don't need a big dick even now, <laughs> That's why, he's, that's why he bought it. The car does it for you. you know I mean? <laughs> it's, it's like my dick scrapes off the ground now, but only because the car's so low. <laughs> but I, I had a genuine dream that I, it was tiny and I couldn't get into it. Like it was a go-kart size. Now, what about the uh, uh, entering and exiting? No problem? Oh, 100%. Graham. Man with your like, agility. What problem. happens is now is every time I've got into it, I've laughed as I've opened the door because I'm like, I can't believe I drive that car. <laughs> <laughs> for saying bad talk like, <laughs> for making fun of Belfast Giants fans and now I'm driving about in a sports car 
<laughs> All right, calm yourself down. That's a sports car. <laughs> it said on the video I watched on YouTube, it's the, oh, most, so it's it's the best sports <laughs> coupe ever made. <laughs> And that, that fucking includes the Porsche 911. And the Bugattis and all that. And the Bugattis and, and, and all yeah, like, yeah, I don't yeah, want yeah, an yeah, Italian that muck. <laughs> yeah, yuck. Super spreaders. No. I want my cars German. Yeah. And the odd time, like, Korean. Hyundai. <laughs> Not a bad motor. <laughs> but it's, I've, I've, I'm, I'm, I'm so in love with it. Like. And, and the Duke has went to the Duke heaven. F- what Duke? Fuck the Duke. <laughs> Here's what happened yesterday. So me and my dad were driving up to go and pick the car up because my dad wanted to come with me. Uh-huh. Right. And he doesn't know anything about cars. Right. Uh, isn't really interested in cars. But then whenever I was like, here, I'm getting this car. And I told you last week, he was going, oh, I don't know. Now. That's what I know. Like. <laughs> and then I showed him a, like a picture of it. And he was like, all oh, right, 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 maybe. And then all week, I was like, do you want to come with me to go and pick it up? And he was like, yes, definitely. Definitely. He shaved and all. <laughs> <laughs> And then I showed him, I showed him, I showed him, I showed him a couple of different angles of it, and he was like, "Fuck, where's like James Bond's car or something?" Oh, and Jesus I was like, "You're fucking Christ. right. You're fucking right. It is. It's got a Mr. Bartlett. What did underwater. you do? Telling him he looked like somebody's driving a James Here's Bond. What you know what I mean? Though. So we're driving up in my in that piece of shit Nissan Juke, <laughs> dirty, rotten, fucking petrol guzzling piece of Japanese <laughs> wank. <laughs> and when you hit sort of sixty-eight to seventy-two miles an hour, top speed, mm-hmm. right, right, downhill. <laughs> In that car, it's what it's it's not supposed to go that fast. No, right. So it's no. really really noisy. Yeah. So you're having to go. It's a culture like, shock too. It doesn't yeah, know yeah. how to handle it. Yeah, you're, you're fully like what? And the cars are. Like, <laughs> 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 well, actually, no. It's a joke. It's more like that anime voice. <laughs> <laughs> so, I had, when we got into the RD. <laughs> the Bartmobile, as it's been called. Oh, yes, yes. I've seen uh, that, the Bartmobile. We were driving right. home, and I turned to my dad and said, you know what, that it's amazing, this car. Like, you can definitely tell it's a, der- a better car, because it's quiet. Like, we're on the motorway, and, you know, it's, it's kind of quiet. Uh-huh. But that was all right. No, he goes, how fast? He goes, and I went, 98 miles an hour! <laughs> <laughs> I had no idea. You didn't even going. feel it, 98. I didn't even feel it, I swear to God. Man. Now, you feel now, a speed bump. Long, you now. feel a speed bump. Uh, well, I was going to say, but I mean... But at 98 mile an hour, you feel everything. Uh, have you set money aside for the speeding tickets you're going to receive? <laughs> but I don't know what's about it. It's like, it, it genuinely feels like 70 is a struggle for it, but 100 is like, oh, thank God. Well, that's your way out of a speeding ticket. It's, it's, it's like, actually for the car, it's officer, like, yeah. um, because it doesn't go as well as 70. So it's like if you, if you found a tanker riding Shergar through a field, <laughs> he goes so fast, boss. I didn't know. I tried to slow him down, but he don't do it. You don't do don't, don't it at all. It goes so fast. That's just like... Like, in second gear... And I, I haven't planted my foot yet on the accelerator, but in second gear, you genuinely go back a wee bit. Oh, we've been a bit of G-force by. Oh, man, can we hurry up? Let's, get this up. Let's wrap this up. <laughs> Me and Mickey have to lap it down. Fucking lap, Oma. You haven't, you haven't done the lap, have you? No. Oh, I have to do well, the I did lap. it in a San Duke, but I was embarrassed. Uh, no, I no, you didn't do it in Duke, but you were lost. I, I genuinely, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'll give you the lap. I was genuinely wearing these gloves driving there because I had to put cream in my wee scabby hands. Uh, and it, for, there was a point where I was like, this actually feels kind of fucking cool. And then I got in the oval when people were around me and I drove like that. <laughs> <laughs> I always put the leather gloves, the driving gloves, mm-hmm. uh, obviously. Uh, They're also good for baiting. Apart from, yeah. Apart from the Alan, pa- the Alan Partridge. Do you text somebody out? Apart from the <laughs> Alan Partridge vibe. Um, Man, that's not Alan Partridge. I always class it. That's with, Sterling Moss. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That's what I, ca- I, I expect them to be somebody in a big, massive Jaguar. You know what I mean? Like a, a Rolls Royce, you know, them driving yeah. gloves for that. Not an Audi TT. I, I'll tell you this much. Now, maybe <laughs> it is rose tinted glasses or whatever colour these are. But uh, there was I was in Edinburgh the weekend and there was a Audi TT, black, same colour as mine, mm-hmm. parted out, same model as mine, mm-hmm. parted outside the hotel and there was a Jag behind it. And I was like, my Jag's stinking, man. I genuinely think my car is the nicest car in the world. Yeah, yeah. well, that's pride and joy. That's when you definitely know it's a child. And it is second hand, so like, there's a lot of people. Your child's like, always. My I was like, there's a, bit of, there's a wee bit of scratch in the paint there, and I was like, <gasps> but it's a second hand car. It'll happen whenever stones hit shit. Do you know? Yeah, what yeah, yeah. So, and Did I was she like, pointed out. Yeah, no, I know. It was like it was as if you know, like a, trying to ruin your buzz. Yeah, I'm like, it's just, it's a beauty spot. Yeah, it'd be fine. It's worn in looking. Just fucking right. Nobody wants a new looking. It's fucking so nice. Man. You you get, get, you're gonna have to get a teacut. A teacut. The, the script teacup ticket <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not drinking any hot you're going to have to yeah you're going to get the, that wee script teacut get that sorted out and oh, that takes it off ah. interesting I'll do that uh, you won't I'll do it for you bring it down do other stuff you know what I mean 
I love it. Yeah, yeah, it's it's so nice, man. <laughs> uh, the only thing so, that's a nightmare is that your battery drains on your phone because it's Bluetooth. I've not got a charger in it. I didn't take it out of the house. Oh, right, okay. I was going to say, I mean, there's a charger. It's, 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 it's got an aux lead. I know it's pronounced aux in other countries, but I should drive German cars now, so it's aux. Aux. <laughs> aux lead. Do I have 20 pounds for diesel? I had to go. I had to go to get a sandwich. <laughs> You're gonna do comedy in Australia? Well, I fucking can't wait to see it. <laughs> uh, I, I am. I, am I allowed to go for a? You're not driving it, like, but no, nope. nobody's driving it. Nobody's driving it. I've had it off in about eighteen years. <laughs> I have no insurance. Sure, I'm insured. I'm only third party friends. I'm not. No, you're not. You won't be allowed in a row. You're not well, fucking. How much was the tax it? Ah, uh, thirty pound. Thirty pound. Oh, that's the. Like when I went to the taxi, we used to take it to the post office the first mm-hmm. time, and the girl was like, she was saw that it was like an RDT team, all this fucking specs and stuff on it, and she was going, uh, "Do you want this for six months or for a year?" <laughs> and I was like, "Oh fuck, um, how much is six months?" She was like, "I can't tell you. I don't know until I put it in, and then it's it just charges you." And I was like, "Right." I was like, "Do you know what? Just do a year." And I was thinking, "Fuck, it's going to look like." Uh-huh. And she went, thirty fucking pound. <laughs> And then I went outside and then started laughing again in the middle of the street <laughs> at how nice it is. And uh, you haven't had, obviously had not long enough to get a full tank run yet to see your mileage and what you get out of it, but you're going to get a better... This is a, sorry yeah. for, this is a very boring this is fucking... Gear, like, uh, yeah. yeah, this is basically it's top gear. It's the best car in uh, the world. Well, what's, your, what's your mileage per gallon by? Well, here's the thing. When I, when I was purchased it, it said there was... It, it said up into the 60s, miles per gallon, right? Right. But... I've only had it at around 45 mm, but, uh, today, 45, right? Yeah. And I was wondering, is that, like, do they, do they go, push it down a hill and don't turn it on? And then they go 67 miles to the gallon, <laughs> and then that's what they put down? <laughs> Probably. Do you, know, do you know the fucking the Germans cheat on their cars? Oh, here, man. Uh, tell you what they don't cheat on. Murder and Jews. <laughs> Never forget. <laughs> no, they got quite proficient at that. So Aye, but they didn't really time. keep track of the numbers. There's a three no. million discrepancy. You know what I mean? Which is probably what happened. Probably pushed all those Jews down the hill and went, yeah, it's put down six million. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Lord. I hate being here and not in my car. I swear to God. Should we do the podcast from your car? Imagine that. Nah. Couldn't have you driving. It'll be... Oh, man, it's, it's, I, I'm not... Because you good. are what, we would, what I would class as a, as a... A cautious driver. I'm a patient man. Yes. Do you know what I mean? I'd rather arrive alive, as the ad said. Yes. Not to be confused with Five Alive, which is the delicious beverage from the 90s. That's why I want to take it for a wee run. Uh, but then, just because that's, no, because you've nothing to live for, and I have an Audi. <laughs> <laughs> I thought about it today. If, if lockdown kicked in again, and I had a choice between having a home and that car, I'd be like, take a slap and burn it. Like, Fuck. <laughs> I love an Audi. <laughs> Swear to God. <laughs> uh, okay, well, that's all right. Stick it up your head. I don't want to drive your car, no? I fucking don't care. I'll maybe, I'll maybe give you a wee... We'll go to a car park and you can do a three-point turn or something. Thanks, Dad. I'd, I See, I, you need to give me a wait to get used to it because I'm too nervous to let anybody else drive it because I love it so much. Well, then we definitely have to go... Yeah, okay. Because we, we have an idea for a video we've talked yeah. about so we definitely now have to do that now because... Yeah, not know, in my car. Not in your car, but I mean... <laughs> But I mean, now that you would need the skills required yeah. to Fuck continue yes. with the James yes. Bond lifestyle. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Well, we'll we're going to work on that. That's for our patrons uh, coming this year. We're going to yeah. say this year. So this year. It'll be coming this year. Even though it's like. We'll get it on in the summer. Nearly, nearly June, but it's right. coming this year. I'm not going to the fringe this year. So I mean. Oh, Because well, oh. I bought an Ardy instead. August. Did I mention I've got an Ardy? August, you mean? August. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Good and pointing, Connor. Mine, very sorry. Oh, fucking Dorsprung, Dorsprung Dirt Technique. I don't know. Dorsprung Dirt Technique. I know when you get out of the car, it goes dum dum, like the ad. Oh, yeah. dear. Like that. <laughs> I don't know if I would like that, actually, to be honest with you. Oh, it's class. So it, it does a wee thing as well with the windows, do you know, because there's no trim on the door. Oh, uh, so it yeah. Goes like, and then you close the door and it goes. Oh. It's like it's waving bye bye. It's like, miss you. No I'm trim. like, miss you too. That's right. No trim. Forgot of it down. So it is a sports car. This is, I told you it was a sports car. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> One day. There we go. Uh, that'll oh do. well, that'll do. Uh, so then, the, the, wh- where 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 would be your uh, dream drive to now? Like if you you were Ooh. going right, I've got a full day. I want to take this bad boy. I don't want to go well, for a full. Day. Are, you, are you motorway in, or are you going to go like no we're right, country, road, like country roads? Like so, this weekend I have to, I have the drive to um I have the drive to Mayo on Friday to do a podcast with Gordon Rochford for those conspiracy guys. Oh yes, yes, yes. So that'll be a nice drive, mm-hmm. and then next week I'm driving to Galway. 
Excellent. Um, and I'm for Galway. Like usually, I would stay and have pints. I'm literally going to drive down, do the gig, and drive home because that oh, car is amazing. Mighty. And then I have to go to Newcastle the day after that. Um, and what I've realized? Realize, no, 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 England. Oh, England. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And what I've realized is that it's probably cheaper to get the boat and drive, and then there's the fly. It isn't, but it's not. The, I think the crack. <laughs> I had this conversation. It's not. Like the, the, the flight and the boat might be around about roughly the same price, but you're adding in a lot of diesel. It's not that much from coming around the Newcastle. It's only an hour and a half. Still a lot of diesel. Ultimately. I suppose you're around, maybe. An hour and a half. Yeah. Is it an hour and a half? About that. Maybe more. Maybe four hours. <laughs> it's not an hour and a half. I can't remember. Like, maybe it is. From Scotland, from coming around to, f- to Newcastle. Newcastle's on the fucking eastern coast. It's not, it's mm. not coming around to the it's western not, coast. It's not not doable. Maybe it is, I don't know, an hour and a half. What is it, Jim? Can you... Three and a half. Three and a half. Close, close. Aye. There was a half in there, anyway. I mean, so what, what else do we do? You know? I mean, cruising. How many miles is that? 165. 165 miles. That's just an hour. <laughs> 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 oh, mate. So uh, have you got... Three and a half hours in a duke. Tell me this now. Tell me this and tell me no more. Uh-huh. Have you all the accoutrements? What do you mean? Did you did you add in like very nice and no, well? I mean, any accoutrements at all? Have you any extra added? Doesn't need it. That's perfect the way it is. A boot organizer. You mean a girlfriend? <laughs> <laughs> She's strictly kitchen. I've told her. <laughs> That'll do. A boot organizer. What do you mean a boot organizer? You mean a boot organizer? No, oh, it's a boot organizer. A bag. It's the thing that straps onto the back seats of your car and hangs out, hangs over the back yeah. into your boot, and then you put all your stuff in the boot so it's not falling all over your boot all the time. Oh, there'll be nothing in the boot, oh, except for the dead bodies. Do you get a dead body in the too? That's mm-hmm. that's one thing that I have. Like it's, it's got a bigger boot than my old car. I would have thought it'd be smaller. Well, the old Nissan Juke, no, no boot space at all. I, was, I told you before, it was a micro body kit. Mighty. It was a piece of shit. That is quite an upgrade. So that's, I usually that's 17 minutes now on, uh, yeah. on Audi TT. <laughs> what else do you want to know? <laughs> it goes against what about, oh. Oh, what about the stereo? Is it a built in? Is it App Connect? Yeah. Ooh. And there's a wee thing, there's a wee dial there, right? So you can change, like, you know, turn the volume up, change the songs, or whatever. Yes. But it's also got a touchpad on it. So if you want to ring somebody, you fucking type the first letter of their name in with your finger, nice. and it brings them up in your call logs. Lovely. So yesterday when I phoned you, I typed in C. Uh huh. For Connor. Oh fuck! It is genius. And sure enough, it was all it was there. There's Connor, and I was all, I'll ring him. I'll ring him now. But you didn't answer, and then you phoned me back, That's and right. I just fucking answered. Well, I can tell you now that the clarity was 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 unreal. It's better than my actual phone. Oh, Aye. very clear now. Very clear. That's so I, think be, I think I'll be like that. So people be going like, uh, somebody phone me, go two seconds, two seconds. I'll be. Like, <laughs> 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 go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> and tell me now, you have to you have to have done this now, the driving playlist. Oh yes, give us the give us oh, the first yeah. give us the first. I made three. three. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck right, okay. What's what's, what the, what's your, the, your sort of your your journey? Your foreigner, your eighties fucking fire ballads, okay? Fire ballads, uh-huh, yes. your dirty white boys. Yes, you know okay. what I mean. One was a, a rap, but it was like nineties okay. hip hop. All right, okay, old school. When, when okay. rap was mm-hmm. best, <clears throat> and then musicals. Then what? Um, musical. But it was like. So I've been listening mainly to the the the, the, the third playlist, the power battle ba- ballads you uh-huh, call them, yep. power ballads, and the rap. Yes, um, but I did have a third one just in case. And I'm going to take the guess that maybe playlist one and two actually hasn't been played yet. Mm, playlist one hasn't been no. <laughs> it's just been rapping musicals. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm keeping the musicals for when I'm on the motorway. Same as the gloves for the I'm, singing parts. Yeah, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna be driving through Lurgan with fucking. <coughs> No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that would be that would be quite a sight to see you fucking a full belt of the Hamilton soundtrack. Tell you what, I've noticed as well when you're driving a sort of nicer car, people don't let you out. <laughs> oh, I oh, forget <laughs> about that. Absolutely, do yeah. not let you out. I see the TT, you're staying there, so yeah. no, not going nowhere. The good thing about it is, I just drop it down again. I'm out. Whatever the fuck, <laughs> stay there. I don't <laughs> care. I that's, don't care who you are. That's ambulance. Until, that's until another Nissan Juke lands in your fucking gearbox right up there. So you just Nissan Juke wouldn't get anywhere near it. <laughs> Nissan Juke's the gap behind it. <laughs> 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 I'm just like, boom, 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 boom. 
Yeah, that's so bought a car. That's all I've talked about. Fair enough. That's, uh, that's what you talked about for three fucking weeks. Yeah, it's all talked about three years. I don't mean on the podcast. I mean to us. Like I, I, I was sitting. I was having anxiety attacks waiting for this fucking car. <laughs> he was. Oh. The psoriasis got better since we got it. We delayed the podcast last week to, yeah. before you did lift it. It wasn't been lifted. Yeah. Uh, then you had like had the, 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 like you had to go away and then couldn't sleep. The yeah. days waiting for it. Yeah. I'm actually so glad you got it, uh, even though you won't let me drive it. But I let you drive it a couple of weeks. I just need to get used to bring it. her in. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? You want no fat boys in her? Is that what you're trying to say? No, no, I'm sure there's one of us. <laughs> maybe, well, maybe I couldn't handle it. It's given me that much release that I actually went to the gym this morning. Oh, jeez. Yeah, and 20 minutes in, needed a desperate, desperate uh, uh, fecal movement. Oh, a belly I had to run home. Oh, no. Thankfully, I drove an Audi, so it didn't take long. <laughs> but I was thinking to myself, I shit myself in the Audi. Imagine. Oh, could you imagine the first day? Oh, for And then I felt bad that it was a wee bit sweaty sitting on it. And tell me, what about the back seat? Much room in the thing? No. <laughs> Like passengers are in the It's really proud of itself for um, or Audi. Really proud of uh, so the way those wee fucking clamps you get for baby seats. Uh huh. It's really that's that's what's ready to oh ready to take one. Uh, But unless you're putting in a fucking sperm, (laughs) there's there's absolutely no way you're getting the babies in the back of it. Yeah, there's gonna be no. The roof's too curved and low in the back as well. There'll be no bucket in the back seat. I never buck in the back seat. All front? I'm a front seat man. You're a fronter? Way. Yeah, yeah. Oh, Climb I over here, Pet. Get into that front Get over here. that there. Oh, oh, Jesus. Mind the gear stick now. That's not the gear stick. <laughs> <laughs> I say. Let me put over here. Go easy there. You're turning the hazards on. <laughs> Mind the airbag. Oh, here we go. Watch out for the differential. <laughs> I don't even know what that means. <laughs> I heard on top here one time. <laughs> Come over here, you look like you need dipped. Oh, <laughs> do you want me to wash your windscreen for you? Psst, psst. Huh? Oil lights on, pet? Let the image new anyway, huh? Indicate your preference. Oh, uh, seatbelt? <laughs> nope. I don't know. Mm, yeah. Gone. Do you say ejector? What kind of car do you have? Oh, I used to drive, it's an old place car, so of course oh, you got an ejector seat. Oh, I have a bulletproof one. You've got a fenian oh. button. Oh, no tow bar. Yeah, yeah. Oh, just fucking whoosh. You know they weren't, allowed to have, they weren't allowed I never thought of it that until I was told they weren't allowed to have tow bars and police cars. Why is that? Because of uh, back in the, uh, the, the 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 bad times. Oh, oh, oh. That if a police car, uh, it makes sense as soon as it was told to me, I was like, oh yeah. So as soon as they would go to uh, a, a case or an accident or whatever mm-hmm. the case would be, if they were to drive away and somebody had chained them up to a bollard. <laughs> Fuck yeah. Yeah, because... So that must have happened. Like, that must that's have happened. That's exactly what happened. Something happened one time, had to, like, for that to have not been allowed. That's amazing. Yeah. So Imagine that, that was what you did for the struggle. <laughs> <laughs> Daddy, what did you do in the area? <coughs> well, I'm going to tell you, one time there was a fucking Ford Sierra parked outside our house. Your granny was fucking going mentally. I went up and tied up that fucking lamppost. The kids are raising though because it was a 70s, so they were swinging around that lamppost. Remember them? Well, I never don't remember them. Policy was changed then because of daddy. Uh, yeah. So, I uh, please, no, no tow bars. And you'll always notice a police car now, won't you? You'll know the one screen has got that weird, uh, like, a uh, optical illusion yeah. thing on it because it's bulletproof. I remember know. somebody telling me as well that um, may as well be a police, car, police cars are the only, they're in the license plate, there's no uh, manufacturer underneath the. No. So, if you can't see in the back to see their uniforms, to see if they're police. Uh-huh. What you can also do is squint. And if there's no right underneath the license plate, slow down a wee bit. Nice, okay. Mm. Yeah. Reason? I know no, air no, there's loads yeah. of things. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, That's the best way to be an undercover policeman, is just to have a dice. Yeah. And just not drive a Skoda. Yeah. <laughs> or insignia. Is or insignia. Skodas, no? They're all Skodas, yeah. More I have insignia. a fairly good one that's got a uh, They must have got ticket. like a wholesale, like fucking lot buy, you know, obviously Aye. it's a PSNI, so they'd be buying hundreds at a time. So the, the most, whoever, cheapest tender must came from Skoda, because Aye. they're all Skodas. I seen um, a, f- a friend of mine a couple of years ago got a speeding ticket, and, he, and it was a uh, Polo. Oh. They were driving, or maybe a Golf, but it was a wee Volkswagen, but it was unmarked, and I was ah, like, snakey yeah, bastard. Snakey. Like, nah, yeah. Run about there, look like, you want like, s- like, like they want to test their diff. Oh, you want the, the interceptor to get you? Like, uh, oh, you want to get pulled over by somebody wearing gloves, I guess. <laughs> you know, Until they say bend over. Yeah, no, you want. <laughs> Who's he? <laughs> ben who? He was on the Fantasy Channel. You want somebody to pull you over and pair these gloves? I can't. You know, fucking fast, you're like a Mad Max. Fast, right. you were going. And then you could be all, oh, I'm sorry, I was just going, good junk, good junk. <laughs> gasoline. <laughs> I want some gasoline. <laughs> the fuck are you talking about, you mad cunt? Is that how you give him the name? Yeah. <laughs> 
He, well, he sort of see what's weird about Mad Max? He's not, does he? No, he's not that he's, mad, He's no. never really been raging. No. <laughs> Today's world is actually quite quiet. He's a wee civil critter. Yeah. Like, to be honest <laughs> with you, he's, he's madder in Lethal Weapon. Oh, yeah, yeah. Do yeah. you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. And Matt, he's, he, he should be stoic, Max. He's only got with two lines, the whole thing. <laughs> quiet, but civil, Max. Aye, civil, Max. <laughs> <That's all laughs> yeah, so, yeah. That would do, all right. Uh, so, yes, we're moving on. You from never the, see him mad, Max. <laughs> uh, never lose his temper. Moving on from the car talk, if we can do yeah. that. Are we ready to do it? Yeah, sure. Oh, you're going to... Keep the That's the on. sunglasses off there now. The gloves are staying on, are they? If the gloves are coming off, that's it. Boys, to be honest, that's if the if gloves are coming off, them off, I'm worried the noises it'll make with all the cream we've got on them. <laughs> it'll sound like the third ride of the evening. <laughs> I think we have the sound effect for that, actually. Is that what it sounds like? <laughs> that's a smooth one. transition. Was, isn't it? But, yeah. Visual gag. <laughs> There's something confident about them, too. There's something very creepy. I do creepy. feel like there's something very creepy about them, too. somebody came in here... If like, somebody came in here, you're up, the, I go, what? I know, go, if they didn't know us and they walked in here and you're in the sunglasses and leather gloves, <laughs> it does look like you're See, priming me to like be when fucking you, when you, pumped. When you go like that, they go, oh, right, he must be a UFC referee. And you go, nah, lad. <laughs> I'm fucking mad, Mick. <laughs> Any Gosling? Gosling's actually a cousin of mine. I met at that funeral last week. <laughs> <laughs> Gosling McGittacully. <laughs> Good girl, big girl. Doesn't swallow much. Oh, not no. at all. No, the drinks it. <laughs> oh, bad for the environment. <laughs> Carbon footprint. Oh. Uh, yes. Doesn't okay. tell you about all our profits. <laughs> no. <laughs> what about, uh, you, you're, apart from the car, what else happened? You were away at the weekend. I was away at the weekend, were, yes. You were, so, I didn't uh, see it. Did it was there an airplane? An airplane there wasn't an airplane. I was in the boat. Oh, uh, so and is there an emergency exit in the boat? I'll tell you what, there, yeah, but I was, I was too sleepy. Uh, I'll tell you what happened to Connor Keyes. So obviously we did the podcast here last, we recorded last Wednesday. Yes. And uh, Robbie McShane texted me. Mm-hmm. I think it was Robbie McShane. Somebody that I know was calling me texted me, going here, we're going for pints tomorrow. And I was like, nah, Friday, we're going for pints. And they were like, do you know you're on monkey board? <laughs> I completely forgot. Like, I remember you know? that last week, yes. So. Um, How did you do that? You didn't know you were on. It's, it's been, it's back to that fucking, there's so much work on that I'm like, yeah, yeah, And then that put and then forget about it. Or I've said yes to stuff in February when there wasn't much work on. And it's gone crazy. So, um, yeah, it was Monkey Barrel Thursday night to do. There was two two shows, uh, ten, 10 minutes of strictly new material. Uh-huh. Um, and I found myself in a situation where I was looking at other comedians being like, what are you even doing here? What are you? Did you see what I did? And I just made that up. Like, there now. Many jokes I've made up. Like, like these, for example, these here. Right, you can see these shoes. Right. Try to get the foot on the frame I there. Couldn't see the angle. <laughs> you right. couldn't see the angle. They were, they were kung fu shoes, right? Uh-huh. Do you know why I wore them? Because I was watching a movie one time, and it, it turns out apparently kung fu shoes is a very smart Chinese philosopher. <laughs> because the start of all these movies, it kept saying, kung fu shoes <laughs> feel like water. <laughs> so I thought, well, I'm going to wear some kung fu shoes, and that'll make me smarter. Oh my god! <laughs> Didn't you open a like a fortune cookie? Kung Fu shoe says <laughs> you will. You'll come into a lock of pine or whatever the Mandarin is for that. <laughs> a rock of pine. A lock of <laughs> lock of when? Yeah, <laughs> Kung Fu shoe says. So I thought Kung Fu shoes. Mix them up with these gloves. Someone's getting their fuck kicked clean in. <laughs> Like a fat ginger Bruce Lee run about. <laughs> Kia. Fucking kill Jill. <laughs> <laughs> Phil Bill, me or you? <laughs> That's what the leather gloves will be used Phil for Bill. most. Yeah. Phil Bill, with my fist. <laughs> right up, you. Up, you fucking... My wife already was uh, I'm, I'm just that, randomly. I'm saying that right, it is Kung Fu Shoes, Kung Fu Shoes isn't it? Confucius? It was a wee bit high, but I <laughs> ah, walked right into that in my Kung Fu shoes. <laughs> my wife was singing the other day. Laughed the whole up here, hold on my lord. Kung Fu fighting. Kung Fu fighting? Kung Fu fighting. I said, what are you saying? She went, Kung Fu fighting. I was like, think about that. Think about what you're saying. She went, what? Kung Fu fighting. I was like, think about it. It's fighting. What type of fighting is there? 
Kong Koo. I was like, what the fuck are you saying? Here's the right, now, I this is another comedian. I, I was talking about this the weekend. I don't know who this is. It's a stand up does this, right? Can't remember who it is, but it's like a so it's it's a crowd work exercise, right. right? Now I might need all three of you to see if this works, right? So I'm going to do a line, and mm-hmm. then you have to do the next bit, right? Okay. Like just whatever comes into your head, right? So if you go, everybody was kung fu fighting, ha, hu, ha, right? But the other half people go, and there's a comedian who does a bit where in a full room, you just go, how weird's that? I don't know who it is, and I'm sorry who it is if I've stolen your joke. But uh, cred- credit where credit's due, it's not it's somebody else. It's somebody else, okay. Uh, that There's like a guy called Kai Humphries. Have you ever heard, you've oh, yeah, seen yeah, Kai Humphries? Yeah. Kai Humphries is a great bit where he, um, he was learning Spanish, and it was ages before he realized when, you, when you're cracking in Spanish, you don't do five twice. And then he went, uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, cinco, seis. <laughs> <laughs> like, that's a fucking belter. <laughs> <laughs> he is pretty funny for a white guy. He's a good guy. Like a, uh, that's so terrible. yeah, so it was in Monkey Barrel uh, Thursday night. An awful lot of drinking, mm-hmm. and then Jen and I so the was that, didn't was that was we, we we Ned Flanders was he there? Was, no, 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 I met we Ned Flanders then on the Saturday. On the Saturday, Glasgow. Oh, right. oh, right. Friday. Glasgow, right, right, Friday, right. But I had a fair, fair few drinks now on the Thursday, and then on the Friday I got up. Uh, excuse me, um, and I went to got the bus into Glasgow. Mm-hmm. Uh, on the bus into Glasgow, a staff party got on because the bus goes through like an industrial estate, and a staff party of. Glaswegians from a call centre mm-hmm. were going into Glasgow for a night out. Oh, fuck. And I was... This, this surrounded me on the bus. Oh, I yeah. was going to sit by myself, mm-hmm. up towards the back, like a gentleman. Yes. And they all came up, and it was... When you see grown men on a Friday afternoon with, like, one bottle of Budweiser on a bus, and you go, oh, what a muggle night out. Somebody's having an affair. Someone's going to cheat on their husband here. Mm-hmm. And one very glamorous lady... Joe, and this might be a bit of a stereotype... Very sort of straight extension of her, fake lips, mm-hmm. like dark, dark tan, tattoo sleeve. Had to keep doing this with her top. Yes, of course. And then licking her lip, which is out about here. Uh huh. And you could see just these ugly guys from a call being like, Oh, you hear that, man? Fucking, you're an ugly wicked, eh? And I'm like, Oh, you're going to try and buck her, aren't you, silly Billy? Uh, she's going to be like, My boyfriend's got a fucking ODTT. <laughs> <laughs> So I was raging. <laughs> it's, it's, it's been the first time in a long time that I've been away for like five days in a row and I, I forget how angry I get on public transport situations, airport situations, boats, mm-hmm. just getting, being fuming. I was approached on what the you, boat. What happened uh, often with it? Well, I was approaching the boat on the way over. Do you remember I was telling the story with St. Patrick's Day when um, the man ran on the train tracks and then the two yes. uh, security uh-huh. guards couldn't catch up with him? But the, the guy that, no, let's go back, that you started the row. I didn't start it. You started the row because yeah. of a lighter. I didn't start a row because of a lighter. I went, does anybody have a lighter? This guy was like, you're Mickey Bart, you should be driving the Audi. And I was like, yes, I mean, I know. This was in the past, obviously. Uh-huh. Obviously, I drive one now. Mm. Uh, and he was like, I'll fucking get you a lighter if it kills me. Yeah. And he ripped his top off and he had a tattoo of me on his chest. Right, right, yes. insane. Uh-huh. 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 The sex pack was accurate, but... Uh, the, yeah, and he was like, "I'll fucking get you a letter." And he was like, "I have a letter for Mickey Bartlett." And then everyone in the train station was like, "I have a letter from. I don't even smoke." One guy ran to the shop, came back with a load of letters, was like, "Which one's like, you want a clipper?" Right, yeah. And then, but they were all the other side of the train tracks. Right. Okay. So then the guy was let, threw a letter across, uh-huh, woof, uh-huh. like that, and this brave hero caught it ah, like that. Uh-huh. And then he gave me the letter. There you yeah. go, Mister Bartlett. He said, "You're the nation's sweetheart." Mm-hmm. He said, "Thank you very much." He says, "You know, sometimes I think the troubles are going to come back, but then I watch you do stand up, and I realize everything's fine." <laughs> and I go, <laughs> "Cheers, mate. Here's your letter back." <laughs> so back to my original so point. Actually, of he, was yeah, that's you started this? Got a letter through across for me, uh-huh, yeah. and then he tried to go. Res- and it was nothing to do with me. He went across then to the other side, walked across the tracks, and gave the guy who threw the letter a bit of pizza. Then was told to get out by two security guards, <laughs> and then he ran through the train station, and the two security guards followed him. Now I told the story. Uh, when I, I was very drunk. I said the security guards were both sort of portly men, <laughs> and um, couldn't catch up with this guy. Uh, I met one of them on the boat the other day. Wasn't portly. No, how long now? Right. So, so we've, we've had a story. Right. Plan of the weekend. Rangers planned the weekend. Who did you meet on the boat? One of the security guards. Oh, the security guards that put their boy out from. Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. right. Wasn't portly. Uh-huh. I will say, a tall man. Looked like his cardio was in peak physical condition. Right, okay. Blocked at half nine in the morning. Okay, yes, naturally. So maybe he asked something to do with it. Maybe. Uh, 
but yeah, it was one of those weird situations where someone goes here, you're a cunt, and I'm like, oh, this is a long list of things. What have I done? <laughs> like, as I was anyway, saying, you told a story about uh, some Paddy's day, and I was one of the security guards. I was like, oh, thank God. I thought just oh, the Belfast so Giants. How did he? <laughs> fuck. <laughs> Could you imagine if they had been playing over in Glasgow or something? Oh my God. And all the fans on the boat. That would have been fucking genius. Man, you're not going to get all those fans on a boat. <laughs> it's a big ferry. <laughs> like, oh my God, that ferry's carrying blimps. <laughs> what a bastard. Is that the Hindenburg? <laughs> no. <laughs> Davy. The goalkeeper. <laughs> so, anyway. The security guard obviously knows Is that you Richard are. Richard Branson trying another <laughs> round the world trip. No, 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 no. That's Charlene. <laughs> Who doesn't like me. Thinks I'm vile, apparently. <laughs> Philly as fog. No, it's just Philly. No, I'm alright, thank you. <laughs> what? What? In my head, I went feel something, but then I didn't know oh, what okay. I was supposed to do. Uh, um, and so, so he recognised you, obviously, because you yeah, did. Yeah. And I like, did you You made fun of And I was like, did he ever catch him? And he was like, it's not the point. <laughs> Uh, but it was too early. But it was in good. It was in good nature. It was good nature. Con- good you were a good nature contact. Yeah, okay. I actually got there was uh, two or three people that got photos of like Rangers fans, and uh, I was like, oh, if they only knew. <laughs> I was just a tear. I'm not a tear. I'm not Catholic at all. Um, and I, I had a lovely moment of like, good luck this weekend, boys. And they were like, cheers, Mick. And I was like, you know what? The war is over. Fucking right. You know what I mean? No. I was going to say it's a drug because that's your name. I don't even know what they're or I don't even know what Rangers are. <laughs> <laughs> Something to do with Yogi the Bear. Um, <laughs> Oh, Mr. Ranger, sir. <laughs> hey, boo boo. <laughs> What's the matter, boo? We're going to have a So I enjoyed the boat over. Um, went and did Monkey World, <laughs> smashed it, got blocked. Went and saw Doctor Strange. Oh, well. Fell asleep. I'm looking at my word, Mike. No, you're uh, entering that. That is my. It's also. It's the plus 35 I'm at that age, yes. Cinema yeah. is. Like I told you, I nearly nodded off during the Batman, and that was in 4DX. Mm-hmm. With a seat shake about, right? Okay. But there had a bit of like not much tension, but the seat just rocked a wee bit, and I was like, mm, "That's lovely." Mm-hmm. <laughs> like, it's like sitting in a washing. How you before? Lights out, yums out, I'm gone. Like, yeah. Yeah, yeah, done. So, um, I, I, yeah, I, I missed a quite. There was a, a, a nice wee like, "Oh fuck, I didn't see that happen." Somebody said know? I had. You have to sort of have seen one division. Is that right? No? I think there's a wee bit of that you have to. Oh, yeah, right, okay, it's, right. and that's what pissed me off about the, the new Marvel stuff is that uh, I don't want to watch the TV. Spin-offs. I'm past. I'm yeah, done with it. I think. I'm just like Endgame was the like the end Should game. Should have been the end game, yeah. And then I watched one episode of Loki where they threw an infinity stone into like a pile of infinity stones because the and they were like That's all right, in this yeah, universe yeah. and just paperwork. That's the only one I watched that was yeah. Loki one, yeah. So I was like, ugh. Uh, I just I've just kinda gone, there's nothing else can happen that the stakes can't be higher that I'm gonna click my fingers and everyone's gonna die. Yeah. Yeah. So but like then I, the, I, the comic I, books, the, I mean, the comics always did, um, obviously, last for a fucking decades. Yeah. So Thanos was just one storyline. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, 100%. Stuff, obviously, but, but I, I honestly don't know if they can recover from the lack of RDJ. I also, yeah, I also think that, uh, see, somebody told me that there was going to be an Iron Man in the new Doctor Strange, and it might not be RDJ because of the multiverse thing. Right. And I was yes. excited to see what the crack was with that. I don't know if it happened. It was, I was you were asleep. <laughs> um, <laughs> So another another case of no spoiler alert yeah, from yeah. my. <laughs> I, was I, another, I, t- I went and I saw uh, the unbearable weight of great of great talent. The Nicholas Cage. Oh right, okay, yes. Fucking fan, you love it. All right, I. It's, Good. it's. it's no, it, this doesn't really spoil anything. It basically takes the piss out of Nicolas Cage movies and then turns into one halfway through. Oh, mighty. And you're like, this is fucking phenomenal. Oh, mighty, mighty. Uh, it's very, very good. Nicolas Cage is fantastic in it, as is Pedro Pascal. Oh, um, I would, Jesus, I would eat him for dinner. But I used to go out with a girl who had a real, real thing for him. Oh. And I was like, oh, like cause he's not, he's not, like, he's not, he's perfect, classic, No, but he's not, like, he's, classically handsome. He's right? fucking perfect. No, but you know what I mean, right? He's not, like, don't you? Do you know, he's not, he's not the kind of man I'd like to do. I like the McCress Pratt's, McCress Evans. I know, right? I know, but these But I, I, I used to work with the girl. I used to work with the girl who told me she was, like, she had a real thing for Pedro Pascal. Mm-hmm. And I was like, all oh, right, okay. Like, and then, but she got all bashful about it. And I was like, like why are you bash? Why why are you mm. being weird about why it? Why are you worried about it? And she, there was this, is it Narcos? There's a sex scene in Narcos. Right. And she said she was like, there's a sex scene in Narcos, and he just looks like he's really good at it. <laughs> and I was like, you, def- you definitely fought her to that. You scene. definitely thought about that mm-hmm. way more than. Like, yeah, there was a bit of foot turned on. Uh, yes. Uh, okay. I must, okay. I, w- I, w- I was waiting to see if Doctor Strange. Uh, I, w- I, won't, I won't go inside. I'm gonna see it. I'll wait to come out. But I also think like, I'm also at this point of going. Uh, is it time for me just to cut off and just I, let them I, be and yeah, just let them go? I'm away. very like I like the Marvel movies that have like even like X Men movies where you know they have 
a, a certain like they have one power or whatever. Yeah. But when you start bringing in Doctor Strange and Captain Marvel and thing, people that can do yeah. insane things, and you're like, well, there's no, you're clearly going to win. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? It's not, you, a shock. You, it's not the shock that they're moving into the next phase. They've they've, they've called it from day one. There was going to be fourth. Oh, yeah. We're in the fourth phase now, is it? Oh, I have no idea. So they've said it. Like, so it's not like we, we, we didn't know it was coming, but it's just... Yeah, I, I watched that Shang-Chi. Uh, and I, no, I enjoyed that I one. liked that, I enjoyed that. Say, but uh, yeah, I don't know where else it's going to go after this. Yeah. It's going to be... Um, and I think there's, there's, too much to keep, there's, but there's too much to keep track of now as well. It's like because the spin-off mm. series. Uh, well, I don't like that if you have to have seen something that's on the TV show. Yeah, that you have. I've apparently Moon Knight is fucking great. I've watched bits of it. And oh yeah, I yeah. haven't really like fuck it. I haven't given it enough attention. There's some very funny bits that I've seen. Mm-hmm. Um, but the likes of WandaVision, Loki, and then the the Hawkeye, but it was dog shit. Wouldn't watch it. No. And it's just I think you get numb to the explosions. Yeah. Like, do you remember I told yeah. I fell asleep during uh, Black Widow? Because I was like, oh, a thing's falling from the sky <laughs> yeah. again. And uh, the noise again, yeah. Yeah. But uh, the unbearable weight of Nicolas Cage's greatness, or whatever it's called. Um, I must get a lot of that, movie. definitely. I really yeah. enjoyed it. I was wild. That is so, so strange, because about 10 minutes before you got here, I don't know why it happened, but I thought about, wouldn't it be great to do th- uh, the Nick Cage trilogy of action movies on a night? So, as in, as in the Rock, Con Air, Face Off. Mm, and then, then I had thought, which order would you put them in? You would save the best to last. So, which one would that be, in your opinion? But this is where, and I swear to God, but I was thinking this time when I was going in, you start go talking on, about Nicholas Cage. Gone in sixty seconds has to be in there somewhere. I, well, I, I, I had to take that out because it's not the action. There's not enough explosions going six seconds. It's more of a, a Fast and Furious type yeah. thing, you know. I, I, I'm sticking with the. I, see, I just really like it because I drive an Audi. I love that. Like, um, listen, Gone Six Seconds has got Angelina Jolie with blonde hair. Yeah, that'll do me. Dreadlocks looks like a predator, like a sexy predator. Jesus Christ, damn yeah. Man. It's that. Yeah, do the bit where they're having sex in the car, and there's like a naked man. lady in the window, I but you're man. like, fuck, just get rid of her and she Angelina Jolie. Turn the again. camera around, yeah. please. Turn it around to fuck. Yeah. There's Angelina Jolie. I think the one of the first times I um. Ooh, nice way to put this. Rip the head clean off it. Mm-hmm. Was in which he's in the Terminator movie, yes. and uh, Chris Barry, mm-hmm. i.e. Lister, mm-hmm. um, says something to her, and she like she's holding, she puts like guns in her holsters, and just goes, "Don't start." And I was like, <laughs> choking myself and all fucking right. <laughs> Should you my secret too? I've never watched Terminator. The shit. Uh, that's why I didn't watch it. But I was I, again. That's in the show. You see one bit of side, did he? Ah, it's still it. not as good as. Nah. Chick- don't start. Not as good as Basic Instinct. It's the only one. Basic Instinct, we see the full quim. That, no, that, that's not as good as, as fucking Mickey Douglas having a go at your other doll and frustration. I haven't seen the whole thing. I always fall asleep. I'll shut across her legs. One, one of the best. I'm not a bit like, oh, fuck. One of the best sex scenes. Uh, oh. uh, I think it's actually, do you know, after that, uh, Douglas is pent up fucking and goes home uh, and b- box. Bothers the wife. Boxer. There's a, there's a, I remember seeing a really weird sex scene in a movie and it was Willem Dafoe and Madonna. Yes. And he, oh, he, he, yes. he ate her out in the roof of the car. It's right in the roof of the car. And then he and picks then her up. She gets like, the, like, like, like she's at a festival. Oh, I, <laughs> absolutely. Like it's a Peter Candle floss. They're doing yellow. Fuck up. Keep this, going. This is the. <laughs> Where they're uh, and it was a uh, candle wax. Are well later. It's a candle wax, isn't it? He's she's pouring the hot candle wax over him. I don't that know. Is that again, but it's check I, that I film. Fall asleep after a cup. What, what? <laughs> <laughs> Willem Dafoe and Madonna. I think it's something like Forbidden or something. Yeah. Some name for it. There's whatever. one. I remember there was one where um, it was Pam Anderson was in it, and I, I, I think it was pre barbed wire. I can't remember. Um, but I remember there's just a bit where she's up against the wall with this guy, and he pulls her boobs out. Body of evidence. Body of evidence. But he pulls her boobs out of her top and then fully like, like one of her nips. Oh, right. and I were being like, that's beyond soft core, is it? Surely to actually put a nip in your mouth. I never thought that far through. I, Do you know what I, mean? I remember being like, that's. I hurt myself with a belt buckle hitting my ankle. You know what I mean? Oh. So in there. Oh. I mind there was one on Channel Five. I've probably talked about it before. Still think about it, uh, and it's called Friend of the Family. And it's about this family, uh, a father, the stepmother, the daughter, and the son. Mm-hmm. And now they're all in their 30s, but mm-hmm. even though the, the son and the daughter are both going to school. Um, and they're all falling out. And then this woman turns up like a sexual Mary Poppins and rides them all. And then they end up being like really fucking, like a really nice family. But there's a lot of Diddy on Diddy action. But again, it was it's that. Do you see the But it was that 90s saxophone, and it's just fade Aye. in, fade out, fade in, fade out. Diddy, yeah. diddy, like, and there's no actual. No. 
Nothing you never really it's good editing. Yeah. That's what it's it is, like yeah. this the porn version of Blur Witch Project. You're just like, what's <laughs> gonna happen? What's gonna happen? I need tissues. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? <laughs> Other things I've worked to let me think. Man. Anyway, back to my original question. Schindler's list, that was a tough one. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking hell. Oh no. Oh. Jokes of a rabbi, just take my glasses off the table. Can't play Max Lee sees a red coat. <laughs> Well, <laughs> you can't have anywhere near buttons. <laughs> it's like a Ghostbusters reenactment. Just ectoplasm. Who you gonna call? The police. <laughs> you nonce. <laughs> anyway, the Nicholas Cage trio. <laughs> yeah, Nicholas, oh yeah, the Nicholas Cage trio. <laughs> I got from Angelina Jolie to I don't know how it got to yeah, anyway. So, um, uh, so yeah, Con Air, The Rock, and uh, Face Off. I'm going to say... It has oh, to be the trilogy, so you start with the worst and finish with the best. See, it depends what you mean by worst or the best, because when it comes to Nick Cage movies, sometimes the worst is the best. I know. Do you so know what I mean? Like, the Wicker to... Man's dog shit, but not the bees! Not the bees, you bitch ass. Nah, it's not, it's not. Oh. This, these are iconic. These three, three, three only. Three only. We don't have a round of applause that impression? Yeah. We don't have a round of applause anymore. Oh. Serendipitous. <laughs> it's a word I learned. Don't know what it means. Just know how to say it. Can it spell it? <laughs> yeah, so Nicolas Cage movies, like Face Off, if you look at Face Off now, you go, this is the most preposterous fucking pile of shit of all time. Mm-hmm. But it's phenomenal. Mm-hmm. With Colin Hour, you're like, this is the most preposterous shit of all time, but it's phenomenal. And The Rock, you go, that's not bad. <laughs> like, yeah. I think Con Air, for me, see, the, I, if it's like, the best cast. Yeah, if, but if you're rating it as a Nick Cage movie versus a movie, I know I'm right. saying right. Okay, here's the here's the criteria. The Rock's the best one. Here's the criteria. There are three Nick Cage's films, but you have to class them as just three films. Which one are the three best? So as just three films, it goes Face Off number three, Connor number two, The Rock number one. Finish with The Rock. Yeah, as number it's one. The headliner. Right. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Okay. But as Nick Cage movies go, right. The Rock's number three. Connor's number two, Faces number one. Right. Okay. Okay. My order would because have been... he isn't very Nick Cagey in The Rock. <coughs> no. No. There's like there's the rock. There's a no. You do a good. The, you do a good line from the. Yeah, the, dude, the, the you rock. just fucked up your Ferrari. It's not mine. No, what oh. was the other one? Oh yeah, yeah. The uh, your best. Losers always whine about their best. Winners go home and fuck the prom queen. Carla was the prom queen. <laughs> But I'm going to give you a I, live round of applause I, I, I watched the rock Actually, recently Actually the Sean Connery's right? probably better than the Nick Cage Yeah well, the Sean Connery's amazing <laughs> It's also very good Dutch if, if you just want to try and bluff it But There's So Connor face off Both definite Nick Cage movies Right mm-hmm. Completely over the top Ridiculous mm-hmm. violence Right The Rock It's as if they've gone Right we're making this movie It's you and James Bond But he's been in jail for 30 years He had to escape Marvel Chaz And yeah. Nick Cage went But I want to make it like a Nick Cage movie man <laughs> <laughs> So then they have that like, they have that car chase, where somehow a man who doesn't bring his gun with him yeah. sits in a lab, gets a woman pregnant, and loves the Beatles. And what a woman too! Knows how to drive a fucking Lamborghini uh-huh. all of a sudden. What do you call her? And a the scrambler. Like you... Carla, her name, her name's Carla in the movie, what do you call but her? I don't know her She's name. She's famous, the uh, Latina. Of, uh, I can't remember. I can't remember her name. Fucking. But oh. she is. She's that's again that, ni- that nineties lip liner look is something I still get fucking wet for. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. I still fully dilate when what I see. What do you call her? She was in fucking loads of things. Where is she? No. Vanessa. No, that's not the person I was yeah, talking, I told you. thinking about. Yeah. That's not the one I was thinking about. What film am I thinking about? Is, and weirdly, is Nick Cage's daughter is the woman from Meet Joe Black, which is only in it for like oh, a right, scene. Okay, right, yeah. Oh, I don't know what film I was thinking about. <laughs> um, uh, Con Air for best cast because you've got Malkovich. Yeah. You've John Cusack. Danny Trejo. Colin Meany. For yeah. fuck's sake. Um, Danny Trejo. Danny Trejo. Dave Chappelle. Steve Buscemi. Yeah. It's fucking... It's yeah, there. There's more, isn't there? Uh, I can't remember the name of their boy. The the, the, the one who put the bunny back in the box. Boy, uh, he's famous yeah. enough too. But a look, The Rock is a... The bunny back in the box. The Rock is a decent sort of uh, character cast too. I don't know. Yeah, you've got Ed Harris. I watched it recently, actually. Sean Connery. Ed Harris is fucking brilliant. Fucking Michael Bean is in it. Mm-hmm. But yeah. only for a while. Um, is that in the, okay? Oh yeah, it's the the uh, the rock. Oh Michael Bean, yeah. John, yeah, John C. McGinley. I always forget John C. McGinley. John C. McGinley, McGinley fucking... and fucking what do you call your guy from the West Wing? He played um, Leo. He was the FBI oh, guy. Yeah, yeah. Come out that he threw over the. Yeah. The, you almost pulled my arm out, yeah. you fuck. Yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, Spencer, John Spencer, the name was. 
So there you are. There we have it, folks. If you're going to have a, a, a Nick Cage trio, it's going to be in the order of... First up is... The, the Rock. Rock. Then Connor, Connor then face, face, off. face Off. What a night that will be. Because you, ha- you have to say that Face Two Off... Two packets of edibles. As ma- yeah, as night mad... Sorted. You're fucking right. As mental as Face Off is... Nick Cage and John Travolta do a fucking great version of playing each other. Yeah. John Travolta, in particular, does a great Nick Cage. I think Cage does a great Travolta. Nick Cage, when he shifts over to that sort of timid, wee, scared fucking uh, thing in the prison, I think he's brilliant. I'm ready. But it's the... Ready for the big red baby. <laughs> <laughs> it's remembering that the context of when it came out and that Pulp Fiction had, was 94. So then this came out. So... Travolta was still in the heyday of the coolest bastard on the yeah. planet after that so every time you've seen him remember that Broken Arrow thing as well yeah I'm fucking Some that pure I, shit have you watched like, that recently no <laughs> pure dumb but well. every Christian time, Slater cannot act oh I don't know about that well he's no good in that Jack Nicholson's son he's alright like, is he Jack Nicholson's son oh I <laughs> spit him in spit him wasn't good it enough. Um, um, same he's, fucking eyebrows he's great Nick, I think Christian Slater is good in like Interview the vampire when he's playing a character who's not really. Uh, he's like, oh, yeah. Fucking. It but was great in Mr. Robot, the TV show. Oh, I haven't seen that. Actually. No, very good in that. Um, but I think Broken Arrow is. It's a John Woo movie, so you don't yeah. really get to act. No. Have you ever seen? But it's just whenever the camera turns talkers turns with Nicolas Cage That's and right. Christian Slater, the World War Two epic. <sighs> That's bad. Bad. That is bad. Like. The uh, yeah, that's it's when Travolta appears in Broken Arrow and kind of the same in Face Off. You know, the guitar did down, 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 down. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's already slow moving, slow motion. And he, he, but he smokes weird. He's smoking, goes, yeah. <laughs> it's, it's like he's going to oh, fucking take it out of your mouth. <laughs> I'm sure he's done that before too. I once, um, I once Broken Arrow my Taekwondo teacher. Right. Um, we were sparring one Saturday afternoon and I lifted my leg up as if, to, as if to kick him. He looked down, I punched him in the head. And I was like, saw it in the movie. And then he went, I saw this in the movie. And it reminded me he was a black belt in Taekwondo and kicked me through a set of double doors. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even feel his, like, never told that story. No. This guy kicked me twice in the chest, right? But it was like, it was like a, so it was like, a, a, is it a jumping? It's a, there's some, you basically fucking, you kick with one foot, use that to jump and spin and kick with the other foot. Right. And I didn't feel him kick me. It was like, and then I was lying on the floor, like, how the fuck did you do that? <laughs> it was amazing. I do the same with fists. Um, fists of Fury that I have um, would be similar. I just don't hurt anybody. Well, you, you'll be on the floor, but you wouldn't know how you got there. Uh, I dare say you could throw a wild punch too. I know just somebody to, to get down their honker behind you and then I push you and you follow it. Oh, I don't do that there. <laughs> and, just stand, just stand. And, then, yeah, and then you do that. <laughs> Is that sore, sir? Was it? Get ice pack and all. That's, that's a warning. <laughs> Obviously, it doesn't hurt me because I'm wearing these gloves. Hello, that's, no, that's the kind of glove you wear to me. That's the glove you wear to me. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, you I have fucking to... mook. <laughs> I've got to tell the boss. Normally, if you've got leather gloves on the gat, you've got a, a, a handcuffed... A score bri- to settle? A handcuffed briefcase attached to you. Yeah, yeah. You've always got to... I use a blue square. <laughs> <laughs> do you drive to Audi? I fucking do, I. <laughs> Hence the gloves, my man. Oh. Well, Mickey Bartlett, um, I don't know if you heard the news over the weekend, but I uh, I now own a 18-year-old. Sorry to tell you, Connie, now you only own one child. She's an 18-year-old woman, she's an adult. Mm-hmm. How was the party? Very good. Uh huh. A lot of heavily. Mm-hmm. No. Was that was that mainly out of being like I can't believe an eighteen year old daughter? Yeah. <laughs> really, really. Yeah. <laughs> God love you. I swear to oh, God. Oh, you're adorable. That day, I was like, I how the fuck do I what? I like. How, In your I, head, were you going? Did I have her when I was twelve? In my head, I'm going. I'm still eighteen. How the fuck do I have an 18 year old? So then I thought, what could get me fucked up the quickest? And uh, it was Heverly. Heverly Buzz. About nine pints of Heverly and about six reefers. Deadly. Now that'll do the job. And we is out or we is in? Oh, I was right. There was a party. And um, so, usual story, our fucking doll didn't organise anything. Um, so there was no DJ, mm-hmm. no music. So DJ Yum had to make an appearance out of retirement. Fuck it, fuck it, fuck it. Huh? Huh? So what? Well, she felt class had her dad fucking DJ. Or no, anything. she was told. She was told in advance, "I'll get you a PA system and lights, but you're gonna have to do. I'm not standing up there fucking DJing. I said, you're gonna have to go and uh, get a playlist in place." And I said, "Now you have to remember, it's a party, a party of all ages. Right. So don't make a playlist just for your friends because you, you've got aunties and uncles and blah blah. Sure as fuck. Loads of music makes girls go woo. Three of them." Three years in the dance floor, Wee! and then eventually it got to the point about an hour of this shit, and people were like, "What the fuck are we listening to?" And right. I was like, "Not me, it's me." And then me, I was like, "Me, you let me know when you want to change it." And she went, "Daddy, I think it's time to change it." I was like, "Let me in there, daughter." 
Happy days. Proud Mary. S- straight away. Floor flop. Oh, I fuck right right away. <laughs> fucking <laughs> absolutely right. pumped. Oh, and then she looked at me and went, okay. Right. <laughs> I, I was like, I told you. I want you to get it in the right. I'm fucking um, raging to miss it now. Now that Proud Mary was on. <laughs> 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 and my wee nephew, Dan, was so fucking deadly. He's only six, like, but he wanted to go. He was all fascinated. Going, Are you, you doing that? Because I hadn't been near the equipment the whole uh, evening. And then when I went up and changed over the music, he was like, Are you doing this? And I was like, Come on, stand here beside me. And he held the mic and all, stand there, thinking it was all great. And he goes, Play Mr. Brightside. So next song Fuck he knows the floor I know After Pride Mary I was like Dan picked this one I picked Pride Mary And they fucking came from the pub That weren't even at the party oh. They all came in and filled the fucking floor for it so Class it was, Yeah it turned out great But uh, Sunday wasn't great now uh, How's the head uh, I've seen the picture of the fry you put up And I thought uh, four sausages That's not been enough There were many sausages now Alright oh, okay fair enough <laughs> And in fairness to uh, me now, Too many <laughs> <laughs> uh, I normally would have two But it was my ma made it you know, oh, nothing better. Nothing better. Fuckers, nothing better when you're like, well, make you made it, you know what I mean? She makes a queer fry, looks it. So it was a queer fry. Uh, and it it cured me. But you know the other problem is the 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 clear up operation. Mm-hmm. Taking down the PA system, Aye. taking down all the stuff, and the next day and you fucking hanging in the sweat bed. You know you're turning the scene on a crime. Aye. Normally you don't be there for a week or so, but you have to go the next morning again, you're like, Oh my god. I remember I, having to do after my thirtieth. My fear was, Mike, and that's not going to lie between ourselves here mm-hmm. now, right? Just you between, one of the rates? just between me and you. <laughs> I didn't know how I got home, right? Shit, right, no, okay, that, that yums. That yums. <clears throat> and I didn't know, did I turn anything off? Right. And it, apparently I didn't. Music was still going when I left. Uh, me had been in charge, playing through my iPad, which the next morning I was going, I probably don't have an iPad now right. because I left it behind me in the hub. Fucking 300 drunk people listen to the QAnon documentary. <laughs> 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 they find me fucking secret folders, uh, and uh, <laughs> yeah. I don't know again. what you create now, hey. Thanks, <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for whatever, Oma, and it wasn't too bad. Everything was still there, but um, yeah. I mean, it was weird when you're because remember I told you the story of the seventeenth yes. birthday party. Fuck was that a year ago? A year ago. Yeah. Jesus Christ, we're all getting and, old. And uh, the 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 same gears were there, and oh my god, I uh, topless into your rhino with it. It no, Possibly. it was again. It's one of those things where just. This is the best one. Uh, <coughs> uh, I'll, 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 give me a fake name. Give me a name of a girl. Stacy. Right. My brother walked over to me and went, I didn't know Stacy had her nipple pierced. And I was like, oh, no. Is she, can, can everybody see it? And she went, everybody can see it. And I was like, oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> and it's just one of those ones where it's just... There's nothing you can do with that. There's nothing you can do with it. And there's nothing there. They're complete, like, uh, the way my daughter explained it to me uh, was uh, like Skittles on an ironing board. Right. <laughs> That's a word for my daughter, I said, because, uh... <laughs> That's fucking phenomenal. <laughs> so... Like Skittles on an iron board? Yeah. <laughs> and Stacey too back. <laughs> and, uh, so, uh, I, I, and I, well, we were having the, uh, the, the, the debriefing on uh, a Monday about it. I, I said, hump noticing. She goes, oh, I know, everybody knows. <laughs> I was like, well, what the fuck? She was like, well, because there's nothing there. She just thought, yes, we can something put onto it. <laughs> <laughs> Fair, baby. <laughs> it's like putting a Christmas decoration on a coat hanger. <laughs> tell you the story. The first time I went to the Edinburgh Fringe on my own, right? I ended up was drinking three sisters, mm-hmm. and uh, there was a crowd of girls. That, cause I was doing a free show, so they just came in and seen it. And then I ended up in the pub next door. Mm-hmm. So I was sitting fucking drinking, chatting with them. Uh, they were like, they were, they were really, really funny, really chatty girls, right? But one of them was like a wee, sort of slim, redhead girl. Big boobs. Mm-hmm. The other one was like a, a sort of qu- like a larger right. lady, but mm-hmm. with no tits. Right, right. And they were talking about how they make fun of the girl for like being fat and not having tits. <laughs> right, right. And they were telling me a story. She was like, "We were out one night, right, and there was a fucking bee fly- flying about the bar, right, and the fucking bee went down her top, right, and she just fucking <laughs> opened her top in front of every time and get this fucking bee out, and then she turned to me and she goes, "Did it sting me?" And I goes, "Aye, it fucking stung you twice." <laughs> Because <laughs> of a wee bee sting. <laughs> That's one of the funniest things I've ever heard. Right. <laughs> uh, well, thankfully there was no actual stripping at the party, so it was good. Uh-huh. Uh, I kept my clothes on, and um, yeah, uh, Yums was dancing. Mike. Now, I haven't seen you. D- or do you, do you do the kind of dancing that your eighteen-year-old daughter's going for fuck's sake, da? Or is she like shit on my dad? Uh, the first time I did it, she was like, you can dance? I was like, I fucking know I can. What were you, dan- what were you dancing to? I do, I, I don't know. I can't remember, but I remember on the floor, just 
owning it, you know. Oh, I thought you went on the floors of your breakdown. No, 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 no. I've just been on the dance floor and just absolutely owned it. But the the shapes I was throwing. I'm a I'm a I'm a shoulder dancer. There's a lot of arms in. Yeah, why give it a bit of that way? Fucking know that there. So that's my the wrong joke in our family is you know when Young's is drunk when he gets the fucking. Aye. Yeah, See, I have to win a bit of Van Damme hips. Oh, do you do the hips? See, I can't. I can't multitask. I can't do that. No. Yeah. I get Only side mizzles, so nobody feels sexually threatened. That you'd have to. Obviously, start going forward. So so forget about everybody's it. pregnant. Like, do that there. Fucking wee tiny arties all over the place. I was going to say, with an ID TT, and you start thrusting. <sighs> Fuck, sir. At least, as long as I'm thrusting forwards and not fucking backing up into stuff, which is what people think on the internet. <laughs> I'm afraid to reverse the car in case somebody thinks I'm backing into that dick. <laughs> uh, but so, yes, I'm an 18 year old now, and uh, I've, I've kindly uh, informed her that. We have to fuck. fuck all the room, you know. We don't care <laughs> about no. the get out the fuck. Um, but yeah, very very scary. Depressing. Oh, well, happy birthday to the fucking the, the, to the, the child, the, the, the son on earth, the 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 the, uh-huh. uh, the heir to the throne, the firstborn, the firstborn, the right. fucking. That just did uh, you did you name her have any like what the fuck eighteen? I said to her last week, I was like, can you actually believe we have an eighteen year old living house? She was like, no. And I was like, how did that happen? I was like, that was your fault. You got me drunk. I was like. I don't for 18 years <laughs> <laughs> well just that one time but it lasted oh, for fucking right. 18 uh, well it has lasted for 18 years probably, right. she's probably going to hang about a bit longer unfortunately so yeah man do you know what she'll still be there she's 34 that's the problem <laughs> I said I said about our luck we'll have a fucking Michelle Bartlett we'll have a fucking she'll be living with us till 34 not getting out the door and then when she does I she'll get out and buy an Audi TT current economic times <laughs> <laughs> do you mean? It's not easy. Not easy at all, boys. Not easy. Yeah. Yeah. But yes, yeah, so thank you very much to uh, everybody who sent uh, good wishes to uh, my beloved daughter. And um, Ruby's confirmation is this Thursday, by the way, as well. So we have another, another session. hectic week. Uh, I have no size. I can't get my head around that, to be honest with you. And I, 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 I played along with the communion thing. Mm-hmm. But the confirmation thing I can't do. Like, I just don't know. Don't believe in that sort of shit? Well, I don't believe in that, no way, but I just, uh, at least the communion, she received a piece of communion. But confirmation, the whole point of it is that the idea of it, as you know, being a, a, an ex-Catholic, mm-hmm. is that you, you pledge your allegiance. You pledge your allegiance and take the responsibility off the godparents because you confirm that you are now part of the church. Cause they, you oh, could, you take responsibility off the godparents? Because you couldn't when you were young. You couldn't so speak. after 11, if I die, or if my man and I die, I, wouldn't say I wasn't going to my uncle yeah, well. I wouldn't say responsibility, but yeah, ultimately you have then taken on... Thank God, because he was dead too. So but but my thing... <laughs> it's me on my own. But my issue is, like, uh, again, Ruby can't confirm it. Ruby, can't, uh, yeah. Ruby can't confirm she needs a shite. So how can she confirm that she's going to enter the catechism of the Catholic Church? So that's where my argument is, and I was like, I'm just going for the tray bakes. What if, what if Ruby... What if it works? Ruby goes, fuck, I was a weird one <laughs> she goes, fuck for 11 Jesus years I've been trying waiting to get to this fucking confirmation what if, what if Ruby just goes ah, so you're <laughs> <laughs> we spoke to a consultant the other day right and I normally don't talk about these things but I just just reminded me of it he was we're, we're, we're having difficulties obviously and we talked about the medication saying look this isn't working and it's sending your fucking do out of it and he goes we have to trial it we have to do this and he goes all I can say to you is it's going to be magic and I went say it again and he said yes it will be magic I was like, are you actually fucking... Bringing witchcraft into this? Are like? you doing a Harry Potter on my child? I was like, what do you mean? He goes, you will see. He's from Egypt. You will see, and you will know then it feels like magic. And I was like, you were turning him off that fucking thing. I'm from Egypt. You know what he's doing? Put him out the fucking window. He's just sitting there with the book of the dead open. <laughs> I'm not son, I'm on <laughs> I'm not son, I'm on And I was like, if I see this magic, I will come in and uh, I, yes, I will be very thankful, but I don't think I'm going to see... I back, it must be magic. a fucking, like... I suppose that's the way a lot of medicine works. Let's just try this. Oh, it didn't work. We'll try it for a bit longer. Well, that's what I said. He said we have three more to try after. And I was like, oh, for fuck's sake, we have a summer to go through now, which is a fucking nightmare. So, and what are the meds supposed to do? Just sort of camera down? Well, or? she's on fucking that many, but one, this one is, is a, to, to deal with the um, uh, ADHD part where she can't pay attention for more than three minutes. Mm-hmm. So if she can, if she can longer, if she can lengthen her attention span, she can reduce her anxiety and her frustration. That apparently is a cycle it goes on. But magic is going to be magic. I hope it is, man. Fuck me. Because Ruby, do you think it's going to be fucking mental? I, I, I did say, I was like, that is, uh, sadly, as much as it's not nice to say, but it's, uh, that's the only 18th we're going to have. Like, we're not going to have another 18th for... We'll have one for. We will have one. Yeah, uh, right. I'll be f- pumping edibles under right. the fuck crack. But uh, no. Still, I still can't believe you haven't done that. <laughs> no. What if one blowback sorted off? <laughs> yeah. 
Um, actually, we did say the consultant with CBD, and he, he sort of flapped about with it, and, and you know, it was totally our choice kind of thing who wanted to, but he couldn't tell us what it would react with the medical existing medication yeah, yeah. and all that sort of shit. So, yeah, no, we'll stay away from that yet. But I will maybe we'll book that in for the 18th, and we'll just. Yeah. I, I, to the point I said to him one day, I was like, I don't know what she would be like drunk. You know when you lose your inhibitions Aye. when you're drunk? So she currently has no inhibitions. So what happens when you go drinking to her? Does she stab you? Like, does she cut oh. your throat? <laughs> like, what? Why do you catch Ruby underage drinking? Just turns up covered in other people's blood. <laughs> Watch your ass, daddy! <laughs> I fucking love her. Oh, so toot. That's <laughs> so toot. <laughs> Hello, Mitty. <laughs> Mitty. We don't know now, Mickey. Every time we talk about you, or they mention Mickey. <laughs> so now she does a Tarantis and all the Mickey. <laughs> Big fan. Ruby knows, she knows her comedy. She knows, she knows, she knows, she knows her comedians. She knows what set her bread, bread butter on. Upset die. Anyway, right. fuck that's we your talk one. Thanks very much for listening. We're going to go do some questions now on Patreon, so please tell your friends to join the Patreon. Spread yes. the word. Thank you very much. Because that diesel's not going to pay for itself. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's anything else to add? No, thank you, everybody. Just and, uh, meet, meeting adjourned. We, we st- another week, sponsor free. We didn't sponsor have to do it. We right. haven't sold out, fuckies. I want to sell out so bad. <laughs> <laughs> Look at these fucking gloves. Just let me sell out. I'll see if I pubes, I don't care. What's up, motherfuckers?